morning conversation oh by the way i've got more great jam pinches your request coming up next and we need to have our morning conversation round about last week and someone told me now where did you let that woman go just like that we needed to discuss her mm. she's a woman whose husband works in nakuru no she works in nakuru he works in nairobi yeah she visits him and she finds a used condom next to his bed mm. she asks him about it and he says there's a very notorious rat in this neighborhood in Aletanga Vitu Kwe Nyumba. Do you know, I met someone yesterday who said, I've never forgotten that woman. Mm-hmm. I'm actually trying to look for that audio and I cannot find it. Oh my goodness. And this morning she told me yesterday, please, Maina, ask my fellow ladies. Because she was really just by that excuse. The craziest things your man has said when you've busted him. Makrap. That man looked into his wife's eyes and says, Nipanya ingine na kuanga hapa, hiki nikona tabi ambaya kuleta vitu kwa niko hii nyumba. And he dismissed it. And he moved on. And he was not discussing the matter again. Henrietta, your request has been done. Please help Henrietta out. She wants to know from her fellow women the craziest things your man has told you and you've busted him. So I want to know this morning. First of all, do you know kuna those notorious? Uh, what? Where? Do you know? Where? Kama kuna mbaka katuni na ito ato manjeri. Eh. Ya kukimbiza hako kajeri. So there are these notorious rats. Yeah. Mm. Ama paka. Mm. Ama, ama kaumbo. What is the craziest thing your man has told you when you have busted him? The craziest excuses ever. Mm. I want to know that this morning. Why don't you give me a call, girls? 0711-046-105. That's my number. Call me up. You can send me that text message to 22494 if you want to contribute via SMS. Or hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or Twitter handle at It's My Neck Again. That is a very notorious rat. Inaletanga vitu kwa hii nyumba. Hata si juangi. Kutoka huko inaleta hapa. In a feature, actually thinking about it, that's total madness. What are the craziest excuses your man has given you when you've busted him? I want to know that. Give me a call. 0711 mm. My short code is double two four nine four. Hit me up on Twitter as well. At It's My Neck Again or at Classic 105 Kenya. I'm a mechanic. I'm a mechanic. I'm a well to me. I'm a demonstration of PSI. When you're one to me, I'm an example. I see that would give you a hard doubt of a hard What was PSI wali angalia waka wana niwewe? Eee waka kutumia demonstration. Yeah. Acha ukusahau. Nevi tuza ofisi. The things the office will make you do. I swear king hangi you out of this world. At it's my neck again your art classic 105 Kenya hashtag my neck king hangi. We're talking about the craziest excuses your man has given you when you've busted him live live. Talk to me, eh? Let just go to your SMSs. I cannot believe this one. Mayna, I caught my guy at this chick's place. Then he claimed he doesn't know me at all. And the following day, he came over to my place and claimed he was under a spell. Really? <laughs> Ooh. What are the craziest excuses your man has given you and you've busted him live, live? So we're discussing this morning. Keep calling 071104. What about the craziest excuses your man has given you and you've busted him live? What was it? The man who just talked about a very naughty rat that brought a used condom into the house when his wife busted him was just crazy. Really? I'm just getting a lot of tweets here. <laughs> Ooh, wee. And most of them are saying, that man should have even bought more condoms for him. That's a responsible man. What? Nyangi, I got your tweet. Seen a man is busted sleeping besides the maid in the name of going to the bathroom. Then he says he just got tired and decided to rest. What do you mean? <laughs> Guy, Jabet, you're saying my ex once told me at this chick alikuwa meshikwa na hysteria, so he had to help her. Ha, ah, kiao. Kunguru 87 is saying this excuse is just form part of the man's life. Ichanda na pete. Really? Daniel Conero saying, just be like Shaggy and say it wasn't me. <laughs> Keep those tweets coming through at It's Mine Kegani or at Classic 105 Kenya hashtag Mine and Kegani. What are the craziest things you've heard? Hello. Morning. Yeah. Mimi aliniambia, 
eti huwa anakata hizo nini nini za juu anashikia soft akienda kucheza mpira ati nini aliniambia huwa anakata hiyo na baba njenye nabaki ya juu ya kondom ee eh, huwa anashikia kienda kucheza mpira lakini Anas... huya kidogo nikamshika na mwanamuke kwa kitanda ati an, anakatanga hiyo kitu na anashikilia socks nayo ee eh, hako kaju hako kabandi kaju ee eh. <laughs> <laughs> anashikia raba ata, anashika anashikia socks akienda kucheza nao mpira <laughs> but nikagumilia tu kidogo nikamshika na weo mwanamuke kwa nyumba mm. kaka kaka ka, kidogo sasa sikuizu wa anaenda tu inje na ee haleti kwa nyumba hold on badu uko na ee ee eh? badu uko na ee bado niko na ye lakini navumilia tu nafikiria tu cha kufanya sasa hold on na ulimpata kwa nyumba yako na huyo mwanamke nilimpata na huyo mwanamke kwa nyumba kwa kwa sitting room ama kwa bedroom yeye alikuwa ni room moja anafanya kazi eh. na hizo kazi ni kwa wanatoa room moja ni askari eh. then nikampata ye ameka kwa kiti ana watch na dema kwa kwa bed guy sasa kuna kidemata serious hiyo eh. kitanda chenye analalia mi nilimpata hata mattress sana nikanunua mattress ha <laughs> kiao na bado uko na yeye bado unavumilia imagine bado unavumilia ba sasa hii ya juzi yenye sasa aliamua kwenda kulala nje akaacha kulala kwa nyumba nilienda tu kwa abrupt sasa hivyo nime take step nimeongea na watu wake wa mu advice ajue ajue vile atalipia mtoto ama mimi niende kwa children tusikizana hawa kikata pesa wakisaidia mtoto kwa mimi naye hanisaidi anything tangu tukutane okay mm. okay asante wee what is going on here the hell hello hello maina morning to you morning yes uh ambio wa mtena hee yeah. ashukuru mungu mm. He is using a protection. Aya. Eh. Hey. Me one day I was sick. Eh. Alafu akakuja let kidogo kama ametelewa. Eh. Sasa so nilikuwa nimekunywa dawa alafu usingizi kanibeba kidogo. Eh. Ika aka, akatoka kwa bedroom nika dania anaenda maybe kutapika. Eh. Eh. Ah, sitting. Eh. Ya uko aka akaenda kurepu sana la job. What do you mean? Eh, alafu ni wakati nili nikaamka nikashindwa huyo jamaa ameenda wapi? Eh. Kwenda huko nikakuta he is naked watu hiyo anamwangalia my 7 year old girl last year she was six. Aya wanaona uchi yake and then akaruka akanitupa uh, inde na akajifungia lakini hakumshika haya mm kama so, ashukuru tu amepata hiyo protection jumisi kumpata nayo are you still with him yes and even <laughs> ile mambo tunapitia maina ni ngumu sasa so, ndenda wapi na hiyo msana wa kazi bado yuko No, she left and I don't employ them anymore. Eh, huyo msichana wa kazi kwa nini alimuita na yeye sasa hiyo? I think they were together sasa alikuwa anakata juniko. Guy. And mm. you, and you, and your child was seeing him naked. Eh. Hey. <laughs> and she has never forgotten. Eh. Yeah. Women go through hell every day. Can I hang guy? Ndio <laughs> nauliza nani aliamsha mtoto alikuwa mtoto ako miaka ngapi Alikuwa ako na miaka 6 nilikuta akiambia dadi ataka kusumbua sana wadogo Because walikuwa wanaangalia Ah kiao Mm So utaenda kuvumilia hapo tu Hata la, like last week we were here dadi yetu kuimeharibika na anafanyanga nayo kazi mm a a tule kuna friend yangu alikuwa amenitumia pesa kidogo niweke job eh yeah. wanaona ngavile na peseka sasa naona nitampediza pesa ndiye atoe gari kwa garage kwenye ilikuwa imeharibika jana uh. eh, from from lot coffee the from one of the simu imekuwa mteja anaapisha kidogo anazima yesterday i called akapatia i think one of his friends the phone 
akanidanganya kipa wako na ufisa and wana wako walikuwa wana cheka ile ujai wana kiai wa women wa laughing there so obviously only ba sina walipa kuenda sina kazi ukienda nyumbani unambua rudi kwako ugumilia wanaume wako hivo mm, i don't have papers that intenda kutafuta kazi so this man ana take advantage of me kai pole mm. Okay, thanks for sharing your story with me. We to the weekend. We continued our morning conversation. The craziest excuses your man has ever given you when you've busted him alive. How many activists? Let me just go to your tweets. You saying Badala washukuru to our to our protect from STDs and HIV wanateta. Really? Joseph Watake saying the government should ban Tim Afisi Saku. Hindi na leta shideote. Really? One boy was saying the girl must be a witch because he did not even know what he was doing the whole time. That's what he told you, guy. Okay. Pire, you're saying if caught on top by, by your wife, just ask if you are there, who is this lying here? Really? At it's mine can get your art classic 105 Kenya hashtag mine and Talk to me. Good morning to you. Yes. So Mimi, eh. I got my husband dad with a condom in the pocket. Eh. Then when I asked him, mm. you know what he told me? Mm. I didn't remember, eh, you know, I had a friend and my friend uh, had my money. So your person came and put your person, he just came and I take a mfuko. But I don't know how this condom came in mfuko. Go to the Niona. Yeah. Why not? I don't know how to get the mfuko when you come and so what did what did you tell him? What I told me yeah, I just knew he was lying. I knew he was lying. So I just look at him and laughed. Hmm? <laughs> I said someone just took a condom and put it in his pocket. He put it in his pocket because he had his money. So he, he wanted him to kwaribu the family. Oh Lord. Kilani, sini wa mnafanya. Kilani. Ah, where is your gear, sir? Umem tu. Kilani, sini wa mnafanya na sana damu ni vitu zenye haziko. Eh. Hmm. Okay, thanks for sharing your story with me, sweetheart. Yeah, what the hell? Hello, Classic 105. Hey. Morning. Thank you. Yeah, I'm morning to you. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go Hello classic one oh five. Morning. Morning to you. I'm gonna do call in with the uh, that story you are notorious rap. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're the one. Let me tell you today. Yeah. There are two things that always retain us. Mm. There is the aspect that the man is providing. Yeah. Then there is the parents aspect. Eh? Uh-huh. Now you see my like my parent. Uh-huh. My dad is a counselor. Yeah. He counsels people. Yeah. They are marriages. So they see their daughter is married. We are actually financially stable, but they don't know the drama behind. If I exit the marriage, it's another story. So, hold on. Y- you're the, your husband is the one who told you that it's a rat who brought the used condom? Yes, I'm the one. So, oh, lordy lord. Yeah, so you see, there are those excuses you don't even waste your time. My time, we ladies, I can't waste my time. Okay. More great jams coming up next once again to welcome the weekend in style.
We're talking about the crazy excuses your man has ever given you and you've busted him live. Oh, Twitter is just going crazy, crazy, crazy while I. Jumbo, you're saying the moment an antidote to cheating will be found is the day Manville will fall. That is also true. Captain J, since sometimes it's better to find your way out about it. Damasus, you're saying, once you love someone, no need of cheating on him or her, no matter the distance, mambo ya michepuko to a nayo. Good advice. DS Minor, Dan S Minor saying, rats feed on edible products, see your rubber. I can advise her. Life niyake, aamwe. Don't look for the cash. Keep those tweets coming through at It's Minor Kigeni or at Classic 105 Kenya. Hashtag Minor in Kingangi. Hello, Minor. Morning. Uh, morning. Yes. Konda Jofi wa Evon. Yeah. Eh, ni, ah, nasema hivi. Eh. Iyo excuse ya wanawake wanakupatia hata mimi ni meshapewa. Eh. Do you remember the time I called in, uh, nika kuambia kwamba I have a chick from, uh, Nyahururu. Eh. Uh, Kuna Jofi tuliwachana kwa kitu kama hiyo. What happened? When I visited her in, in her house, mm. I can, uh, alikuwa metoka, alikuwa meenda bari ukwao. Mm. Aka niambia, tafadhali endu naenda kwa nyumbu niangalia kitu fulani, mm. pali fulani. So, ni kuenda kuangalia, nikapata used to condom, bado iku fresh, na bado iku na hizo mbegu ndani. Nika muuliza my dear. Chene ulikume ni tuma, sio hiyo, nimepata kitu ingine different. Sasa, ni nini kwa sababu gani umenituma niangalia kitu nilimepata ni hii Naka niambia pana, sio hivyo hiyo ni uongo Nika mambia sasa sitoki hapa, hata siyendi kwa hivu Fanya na mna gani, nita kungoja until ukuja ndio tuzungumze Haka invite friend yake haka kuja Unajua conversation nilikuwa nini? Mm. Ni hao majirani ambao wanamonea wivu wameweka ndani ya yeah. nika mwuliza majirani gani majirani gani ambao wameweka ndani maina hiyo kitu meni hat until now tuliwachana wa sauge kitu kama hiyo jivizi hmm? mtu kuambia kuamba majirani ngeo wamechukua kitu kama hiyo wameweka ndani mtu wanaigiaja mpaka betumi yako kwenu uliku umetoku umeenda wapi uliku umetoku umeenda wapi uliku wachia nani nyumba na jirani ya ingi kwa 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 hata kama jirani ya naingia kwa kwa anaenda mpaka bedroom apana mtoto wa jirani anaenda mpaka bedroom mtoto wa tapewa anaenda aficho kwa vitu mahali kwa mabag ndani eh maina iyo kitu meniumiza sana ndani ya roo yangu wow that's why ni mesema e. it's better ni betu manamuke mahali penye natoka mpaka mpaka iyo peine wakati ita, itaishi itaisha ndio ni alau manamuke kwa maisha angu paka za hili ni i still have that pain in my heart bado ina niuma sana bado ina niuma sana na ime muhita tu akuja tuonge anakata paka na shindo nitafanya nini right now she's working eh yeah she's working uh, she's earning her own money but uh najua hiyo ndo imefanya mpaka awezi fanya tusikizane mzuri sababu that time nilikuwa na Eh, nikuwa na mprovidea hata kaa siyo enavu Lakini, nowadays sana pata zake That's why ya meringa Hawezi hata zungumiza na mimi Hawezi hata, hatuwezi hata elewana Eh? Ok So, wanawake wa sikudanganya hapo Ati yo, wanaume, wanaume sayote, wanaume sayote Hii vitu ambazo